Bishop Christmas. I thought that big four came in. That'd be good. Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It is coffee time. It's been coffee time all day long here since 6 o'clock this morning. No lie. I woke up at 3 o'clock wanting it to be coffee time. Oh. That's a rush, in it? We have a wonderful 89 degrees. We've had storm. It's rained for an hour or more. Bad thunder. And, and I really think we needed it, didn't we? Yeah. We had it yesterday, too. It was wonderful. And uh, I really don't care if it does that a little bit every evening until we get back up on our rain. Because, that'll cool. Because we were down for a while. How about you all? I asked you if you could guess what our lunch was. How many of y'all got it right? It's a classic. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. It could be a winter classic, but we eat this here all the time. I think Mama got a chill in her bones when she <laughs> seen that rain. I do when it rains. Because I was going to have a hamburger. I said, Mama, you want to do a hamburger? She said, yeah, or a grilled cheese and tomato soup. And I said, well, that's awful specific. <laughs> It was a nice way of And I said, are you saying you'd like to have grilled cheese and, and tomato soup? And she said, I think I would. Would you? And I said, yes, I think I would. Now, sometimes I like to put a little cream in this or a little half and half with the basil. Today, we're just doing more traditional with a hint of basil. And I just put the grilled cheese on this plate here because we'll just grab it. And then here is our bread and butter chip. Pickles from Kurtz. Wonderful. Let's bless it, Mom. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. Dear Lord, we have had this for years and it brings back so many memories. We thank you for the memories. Lord, we thank you we're able to sit here together and take it. And dear Lord, we just pray for everyone out there with prayer requests, those that are sick and those that are needing the healing. And Lord, we just pray that you'll watch over us, lead God and direct us, put a hedge protection around our families, be with our country, be with our nation. Dear Lord, as we go into Perilous times sometimes it seems in this world that we live in. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama. This is this is Marita bread today. Ooh. And it toasted so pretty. Look at that. That's just butter, a little butter, and a skillet. And it toasted very well. How's that tomato soup, Mama? It's good. I believe that's what I wanted. I believe it was too. You'll have to say that. Well, it is down to 89. <laughs> mm, that little bit of hint of basil, it kicks it up a notch. Mm -hmm. A little hit of cream or half and half would have kicked it up to another flavor, but it's not quite traditional to know soup. No. Mmm. Good selection, Mama. Yeah. Very good selection. Now, are you a dipper or are you not? Mm -mm. Mama's not, I am. I like to take the corner of that sandwich, dip it in that soup. Mmm. Absolutely nothing extra on the, on the grilled cheese. It's just cheese. A lot of times I will put mayonnaise and tomato and onion and different things on mine. Not today. It's just a plain old grilled cheese. That's the way I like mine. That's the way Mama likes hers. And sometimes it's good just go back to the basics. Like bread and butter pickles. Mmm. I think you did good, Mama. Yeah. This tastes better than the hamburger, I believe. Yeah. What are y'all eating? What's going on? Hamburgers for all yeah, and we've got macaroni or macaroni. We got a macaroni. We've got spaghetti and meatballs in there too. Mm. Maybe for supper. It's a little in between here. This is the way Mama likes to eat, though. She usually eats around three or four. <laughs> and that's the reason a lot of times she don't eat when I come home much. She'll say I eat a late lunch. Well, this is her late lunch. Mm -hmm. This is it, Aunt Mama. Yeah. Look at this. I love to showcase that beautiful. Mm, look at the inside. Uh huh. That is a good grilled cheese. Mm. 
It is tasty in it. So football season has begun. Some of y'all just going to come grips to grips with the idea that Labor Day is officially into summer. Unofficially. Officially. It is football time. Tomorrow we wake up to one of the beginnings of one of the most wonderful seasons. <laughs> the Burr months. You thought I was going to say fall, didn't you? It's still summer, officially, but the Burr months hit us tomorrow. Is it tomorrow or Monday? No, well, today's the 31st. Oh, that's right. I know that. Mm hmm Today's the 31st, so tomorrow begins the burrs. September, the burrs October, November, and December. The fourth burrs. I love the burr months. I know it. Because I have families in you, I believe. And what makes me love them even more this year is those 90, high 90s we've had all week last week. Oh, gosh. You don't have to go out. You just open the door and it'll knock you down. Mm. That's, it's bad. It's been bad. Not that I'm complaining. Mama, I'm going to let you pick for lunch again. Yard, I did a good job. You did. This is really, when you first said it, I thought, hmm. But now I'm thinking, hmm. You thought it's too early for that in the season. No, I just not, I hadn't even thought about that in a while, and I hadn't. Now, if it's snowing outside, this is the first thing I think of. Mm hmm Daddy, I love this grilled cheese something I just said. Mm-hmm. I told somebody the other day, I said, I hope it snows tomorrow. <laughs> they you said, like the only one, Silver's put it on Facebook. They said, it ain't gonna snow tomorrow. I said, it's been 99 today. I can still hope. They say in a day's time or a week, we thought every season they are in a year. Well, we've had oven hot for a week. Not that I'm complaining. Um, I wish I could see that. Granny's butter rolls. I might make chili tonight for supper. That sounds wonderful. Now, Rhonda, that is very appropriate up here. Chili for ball games. I don't care what, what time of year it is. Yum, lunch. Debbie, it is good. I live in Florida. We don't get snow. <laughs> Jennifer, yeah, you all don't get that. Yum. Uh -huh. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Yeah, it's a tradition. It's a classic lunch. And it's this is not a southern thing. I think this is... I don't know about other countries, but I know United States... Uh -huh. About everybody eats grilled cheese and tomato soup. There's even restaurants that are, that's all they have. Of course, they have a variety of tomato soups and a variety of grilled cheeses. That is delicious. Oh, yeah. Now, we don't eat this a lot because there's a lot of sodium in that soup. That's bread and butter pickle. Sodium in my coffee. We have started this weekend <laughs> like Thursday, I think. We've got this beautiful little pumpkin sitting here on the counter. And there's the gourds and Mama's put out a few little, look at this little acorn. acorn. Little acorn. It sets like that. Hold it right, maybe. 
Hopefully they're running bright. Though. They're on? Mm -hmm. Pickle juice? Pickle juice. Mm, yeah. What are you all having? Have a great weekend. Run to you too. George is not ready for cool weather. George is not leaning. All right. If I wish for snow again, I'm going to hold off to the Tennessee line. <laughs> Hoping and wishing he's going to get me snow. Now, I'm not a snowbird. I'm not one of these people that thinks it has to snow every day for me to be happy in the winter. I like one or two good ones. Uh, if I don't have to travel. But I'm a warrior. I worry about the first responders. I worry about the electricity. I worry about the people depending on oxygen. And I was programmed for 10 years to worry anytime weather was bad with Dad on dialysis because he had to travel uh, 40 miles to get to his dialysis. And we had to, it was not an option. So that's still in me, even though he's doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Other people do. And so that's in my mind. So, and when I do want snow, I'm going to stay off the roads and just be on the grass. I have a lot of list of demands with my weather patterns. I reckon you do. I love it when we get those big snows and it melts off the roads, but it lays on the trees. Don't get a lot of that. Now I'm going to tell you no wives still. Many, many people. My, my memo was one of them. All through August, they have a calendar and they write down every day that there's a fog. Now, my mom would write the temperature down every morning, too. But she did that 365 days a year. She'd go out on her porch, look at her thermometer, and check the fog about 7 o'clock in the morning. She'd write on her calendar, temperature, light fog, heavy fog. Um, if it lay the long time, meaning it didn't burn off quickly, should put fog lingered till noon or whatever. It's believed that that's an indicator of how many snows we're going to get and whether they're going to be light or heavy. Now, people will start telling you tomorrow, you'll hear them say, we had X amount of heavy fogs and X amount of light fogs. It's going to be a bad one. Be oh, a, yeah. It's going to be a bad one according to that because it was fog give out every day. In August. So that's an old wives' tale. Another thing <laughs> is hornet nest. Have you got a hornet's nest laying around somewhere? Um, are they high or are they low? Last year they built in fence rows, very low, and we had one snow that lasted about seven days. It lasted a long time, but it was just one. And I've not heard anybody say, I've heard people say they're building up under the eaves of their yeah, house. We've got one started out here, I think. Have we? Mm -hmm. A little bitty one. You can tell it's going to be a hornet's nest. Mm. Dearly beloved hornets, you got to go. We'll be spraying you. I, they can build anywhere in the woods and I wouldn't touch them. But when they get on the house, they got to go because they just get bigger and bigger. I know you can't even go out in that area. So anyway, that's where we are. So I don't know if you can go with that or not. Some people go with the almanac. But I don't know where the hornets are at this year. I guess under eaves of houses. So one year they build up in the top of trees. Ha. And people were like, oh, and it was a bad winter. That's when we had ice and it was horrible stuff. Hello, Ma and John. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Melissa. South Carolina. Hey, Melissa. Hello, John and Mama. Hey there, Veronica. So what are y'all eating today? Are you, it's the holidays. I even got rid of my blue one just especially for you. It, are y'all having company over? Are you doing your thing today instead of Monday? A lot of people spend, you know, because there's a ball game today around here. There'll be a lot of cooking out. Um, I've got a neighbor who lives two doors down and he can cook. And um, if I go out in my backyard, it just, I'm starved to death. And I'll tell him, I saw him at the store not long ago, so you're going to starve me to death this weekend? He said, sure I am. I said, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't cook out much, but cook in. Um, 
But a lot of people are cooking now. A lot of people are doing the ribs and the hot dogs and the hamburgers and the whole thing. We're probably going to do, after we after we talked last night, Mom was talking about hot dogs. I said, Mom, that sounds wonderful with that Monday. Hot dogs with homemade chili and some different kinds of mustard. And I don't know. It just sounds great to me. Tomorrow, I think we're going to have ham. I think. Change but mama might change. Mama means if I don't change my mind. <laughs> I don't know how we got you out of the camera, mama. Oh, I probably leaned the wrong way. Here in Michigan, we are. Uh, we only have one day with fog. Oh, really? Well, then that's great. One day of fog. Well, and it didn't this. last. It was a whole oh. lot. But a large amount, get any snow, maybe one little sprinkle. Hello from Cape Cod. Oh, you're having a clam boil. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kathy, I'd like to get in on one of them. I don't want to do it. I just like to get in on one. You know, <laughs> some people buy that like chicken livers. They don't want to cook them, but they don't care to go to your house if you have them. Hello from Vicksboro, Mississippi. Hey, Lisa. Do the same bells on here count fogs or look at hornet's nest or? Oh, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Hey, Gwen. Tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwich. Nancy, that's what we had. Chicken salad sandwich to straighten out a llama. I was going to do that. I was going to do chicken salad. I even told Mama, I said, I may have mentioned it to you all. I don't remember. I said, since this is the last big bash of summer, we need to have chicken salad and come in and cheese and just sort of, you know, graze and fix us up a little board or something. Ribs and potato salad on Monday. Uh-huh, Sherry. I may do that with the hot dogs. Because it's, I mean, the way we fix them, it's not a lot of work. And I do have some baby back ribs in there. And we make them with Dr. Pepper and coffee. Um, so, they could be on there too. May have them in. Mama's not big on potato salad, but we may do a pasta salad or a, pa uh, a macaroni salad, which I guess could be called pasta salad. Yeah. <laughs> and baked beans. That may be a good Monday. With hot dogs, mm -hmm. homemade chili. Uh, even funny, sometimes you want something, but you want it because of what you get with it. Like, if you just said, we're just having plate on hot dogs on buns, I'd say, hmm, that sounds good, but. But when you say, we're having hot dogs with homemade chili, you just sound up the game. Love I'm like that little kid at church one time, Paul X said, I want a hot dog, but I don't want that ringy thing. <laughs> she was just wanting the chili she bun. The chili. <laughs> you know, a lot of kids get it right, though. They, and we had one little girl, and she was cute. Um, she asked for a chili dog. And the person in said, Now, do you want a bun and a weenie with chili on it and she said yeah that's what a chili dog is didn't say chili bun i want the weenie i thought she educated <laughs> and she just educated you <laughs> i mean she's like i said chili dog i know yeah <laughs> she knew the difference um it's funny some kids are just on top of their game they crack me up makes me think at school for the Fresh Anthony Foster wants Tupperware. Well, Anthony, you're at the right place. What would you like, Anthony? There's going to be a link right below this video. It's Mama's link. You just click that link, and when you go in there, you go up to the top right up here, and there'll be three little lines. They call it the hamburger. Touch that. When you touch that, it's going to take you to a menu. It's going to say join, shop. There's going to be some things. If you hit shop, it'll take you right into the new catalog that just opens up at Thursday. Yeah. It just opened up for September. And I have all the current deals. Plus, I posted, it'll be below this video, I posted a bunch of specials. 
What they did is they dropped their prices on a bunch of stuff for a Labor Day gift. So if you had your eye on something, you're like, yeah, that's just a little too high. Go in there and look. Could be in the list. Could be in the list. And they dropped in a lot of stuff. And um, that's a Labor Day thing. Uh, so go check that out. So Tupperware is not cheap. Somebody said, you're, it's too high. I said, well, I understand. It's not going out to eat for me. It's too high to go out to eat. You know, if, you, if you've done it based on price, just that I'm not eating out anymore. Because it's too high. It just costs too much. Time you tip, time you get a drink that's $4. And then you do all that, you're, you know, you're setting yourself back. But it's a nice treat. And you don't do it every day. So it's not cheap, but it's good and it has a lifetime guarantee on. Mm -hmm. So that's all. That's the reason we like. That, uh, um, my tupperware I've had for 50 years I'm still using and we did get a new lid on one of her canisters you see it once once a clear lid now if it's not guaranteed you'll get avocado from 1970 oh. but they will find you a lid you know but if it, if they still have it and still make it they'll get you what you need uh, or, or equivalent to so I mean you can't beat that you don't get that anywhere else No. Uh, I've bought tons of the cheaper stuff in my life he used it and threw it away, and it's great. In fact, I buy, um, I need to buy some right now. We'll buy some Glad or whatever them other bowls are called. And during the holidays, this man comes, you want to give him cookies, you give him that and say, There you go, take it. And Don't even worry about bringing it back. You give him Tupperware. <laughs> if it's a real good friend, Mama gives him Tupperware. Yes, I do. She just. She, mm, she sends stuff around all the time. I'm like, who you send that to? Oh, I thought so and so knew. I said, well, okay. She's generous like that. Yeah. I do too. I give it to we get. You know, if we have a lot of stuff, I and mean, we, we have to pay for our samples and stuff, it's not like. But um, we'll give it away. But, you know, when people want to take food at home, you want to give them something secure to take it in. So those cheap ones are good for that. Sometimes you can buy ham and turkey and get them little cheap ones. And you can save them for the holidays. <laughs> really cheap. Something I did do a couple of years ago, um, before our dinners and stuff, I ordered off Amazon some to-go hens trays. It worked. I mean, you can still spill with them a little bit. If you put them in a bag and secure them, it don't mean as bad. But it was handy, something for them to have to do. Yeah, maybe it was handy. Sometimes I like good old hot dogs for the from the gas station, like I'm not shady. If it's a good gas station, I do too. Um, I got a, and I'm not affiliated with, maybe I won't even tell you the name, maybe I'll just mention this note. Um, I got a slice of pizza one time at a gas station that starts with a W. <laughs> and it sounded, it was good, and I thought, they got some good pizza at the, at the W gas station. I don't know if everybody knows what the W is or not. But anyhow, it's good pizza. So sometimes, if it go in and if there's an attendant, that's kind of my, like, you know, you go to some gas stations and they've got an actual deli, hot food, and they've got somebody working. But if it's that hot dog on that roller, I'm afraid of them a little bit. It's just a little. I mean, you know. I mean, you know, everybody's friends. It's close. I mean, I've seen things. Yeah, Scary things. <laughs> okay. Anthony, we'll hook you up. We'll, get, we'll send you the link. If you y'all want to join Mama's team, you can come to the meetings. You can, your mama will be there on the Zooms. Um, you can make money on them. And then you get your stuff at a discount because you're a consultant. Mm -hmm. Same link. Just hit join instead of shop. And it'll, and Tupperware's got it set up. It walks you right through it. Mama's director will call you if you leave your name. We will get an email that says, hey, Anthony wants to sell Tupperware. Please contact at this number. Maria takes care of all that. 
The reason we do. don't. The reason we don't is Maria is very smart. And she oh, knows yeah. all the Tupperware questions. You would ask us and I would have to say, let me get with Maria. Go <laughs> um, to the main source. We'll go so. to the source, people. How about them vowels? How about them, Sandy, today? Well, hello from Buffalo, New York. Wow, hello. Um, Patricia, how are you? Having leftovers from Monday. Oh, that's a good idea, Tina Edwards. Tina's doing her big celebration tomorrow and going to have leftovers from Monday and really take a day off and rest. Some of y'all need to. I don't know if you missed Togens this lately or not, but you pushed yourself too much over the summer. You've got all them vacations in. You went and bought all them kids' school clothes. You've got them to their first day. You've done the pickup and the drop-off and all your stuff you're supposed to do. Deserves a break. Take a break. Just don't plan nothing. You know, if you're living in a place that you can do it, go out and buy some barbecue. Go to a buddy's or a, whatever your favorite barbecue and just buy you some stuff. Take a break. You deserve it. It's okay. It's okay. It really is to just take a day and say, I'm not doing nothing today. That's right. Because some of y'all have overdone it. Mothers and daddies work awful hard with they do. kids. Thank you, Jamie. Good to see you too. Anthony says, how do I owe Tupperware? I don't know, Anthony. You owe Tupperware? I don't know what that means. You can join Tupperware through that link I'm gonna put in the comments. It's all of our links. I put them on every video. Pasta salad. Pamela, I love a good pasta salad. I love the um, the vinaigrette ones. I love the, man the mayonnaise-based ones with the ranch and all that. I love all of them. I really do. I really enjoy a good pasta salad. You really can't hardly fix one I don't like. I love the Caesar pasta salad. I love the ranch pasta salad. I love the Italian, just the plain. I love the creamy Italian. It's really good, too. All that's just good holiday food, but I like it any time. You're going out to eat, darling. Congratulations, that sounds wonderful. So says she'll catch us on the replay, that sounds good. We have a lot of yellow jackets here in West Virginia. Lou, I haven't seen them, but I've heard stories of yellow jackets in the ground. That's what you're talking about. People mowing and getting into them and just having a heck of a time with them. Oh, pizza. Mary, that's a good thing, too. Support your local places. Go order your pizza. Take a break. I made chicken salad. Chicken salad's going to be popular this weekend. I may make some chicken salad anyway. I may make it Monday. Um, just to put it in the Tupperware bowl and put it in the refrigerator for the next couple of days for next week. Uh, that's always a good go-to chicken salad, bologna salad, fermented cheese. Because it's so versatile. You can put chicken salad on a rack. You can put chicken salad on, on lettuce. Definitely on a sandwich, on crackers. You can just put it. I like to make a big old bed of lettuce. Put a big old scoop of chicken salad in it. Put a little ranch in the lettuce. Chop up some good tomato, some craisins. You're gonna want me for tomorrow, for Monday, if you ain't careful. Some craisins, some mandarin oranges. It makes a beautiful little summer salad, and it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to get to the big stores, you call it, and get some craisins. We've got to make a trip of pilgrimage. Out the craisins and all of those. We've got to get to the big store, to the Walmart, we call it. Um, I don't, you know, people say, I don't like the Walmart. People will. I dodge it, but it ain't the Walmart. It's all the people. Um, if I could just go there, you know, when it's open 24 hours a day and I could go there, I really did go with, you know, 
one o'clock in the morning, get my groceries, slip in there, slip out. But now you don't have that option. So when I really had to go, I'd go on a Friday night when I didn't matter if I got up early or not. I'd go late, late, get them groceries, get what I needed and get out of there and go home. Um, you don't have that option anymore. We don't, do y'all? We had a subway here in Jellico that moved locations last week. And I was so surprised. They're open 24 hours a day. You don't find that as much anymore. You don't hear it around here anyway. But they'll be open for travelers through the night and stuff, which is good. But uh, I was really shocked that they're going to be open 24 hours a day. I wish, I mean, let's raise your hand if you'd like to see Walmart open 24 hours a day. Some of us like to shop in the middle of the night when it's quiet. I used to do that. Yeah. I wasn't big on it because I like my bed. <laughs> Mama wasn't big on it. She didn't go much. There's a list of things that I can only get at Walmart. And there's some things that I have managed to substitute, get instead of, Mama eats some more grilled cheese. Oh, I've eaten. We have basically eat one grilled cheese between us. It was I should just fix one. No, we probably won't too if you just fix one. <laughs> you know, uh, you're so I love to go when I can go get what I want. I don't have to deal with anybody. How much is the micro pro cooker you have? Faye, it is. It was. I can't quote the price. Two hundred nine dollars. Two hundred nine dollars. They had a different price after they went on sale. It's, it's come down from what it was. Um, it's not a cheap thing, but it's worth it if you're going to cook because it saves so much time. We it use it. Just on sale, huh? It was just on sale a month before last. Uh, we use it all the time, and it saves tons of time. I mean, if I can put two hamburgers or four hamburgers in there and have them ready in eight minutes, and I never have to flip them, I never have to touch the grease and don't smell my house up, that's a lifesaver. If I can put a meatloaf in there, three pound meatloaf, not three pound, two pound meatloaf, and it's out in 20 minutes, and I put a little glaze on it and put for five, and I'm eating within 30 minutes of starting the whole mess, it's worth it to me. But now, as I've touched on many times, we're not on here to force or to encourage you to buy. It's just, we got it if you want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mama, we, so many people when Mama first started, first Mama wasn't going to put it on here. No. And then, so many people started saying, oh, I see, I know you sell Tupperware, but Mama, you're out of the screen again. I keep it leaning. I'm not moving. I'm sitting right here at the same it's spot. It's me. I'm a leaning and moving. I'm getting tired of it. And so many people said, I didn't know Tupperware even still was out there. I did not see the Tupperware rep in years and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, thank you so much. for I can get this order and deliver it to my door. So Mom was very glad she presented it so that people would have that option if they wanted mm -hmm. it. I guess we're more sensitive to those needs because we live out here in the country and a lot of things we have to order. Oh, yeah. And we're glad to be able to get it and deliver it to our door. Because even though it's not unheard of, but sometimes it's a, you know, a 70-mile round trip to get to something that you may have next door or the street over from your house. So, and we're not complaining. We love it. We wouldn't trade it. If we wanted that, we should have moved to a big city. I like my country living. We like our country living, but we want the... the uh, Conveniences. Conveniences of them city folks. <laughs> you just have to drive to get to them. You just have to drive. You just have to plan. And it's not so much the drive, it's the plan. You know, we don't run to the store if we're, we do here, but like if we're going to somewhere, it's not like I want us to run to the store. It's a plan. Like Thursday, we're going to go to the store. Is Thursday good for you? Yeah, Thursday works for me. I mean, it's that kind of planning. Um, because it's going to take a while to get there. You're going to have to, you know, get your list together. So, so you don't have to go back the next week. And I get real tired easy. How you go, go through the big stores and get everything. Mm -hmm. Load them in your car. And then... I mean, I don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me 
getting started on going to the grocery store, how many times I touch that food. I mean, like, for example. <laughs> now, I'm not going to start. <laughs> you know, you got to put it in your buggy, take it out of your buggy, put it on the thing. They'll put it in a bag, you put it back in your buggy, you put it in your car, you take it out of your... <laughs> it's a commitment. it all off and you have to put it on your shelf. I had touched that food six or eight times before I get it to the shelf. And there's a lot of it. Inside. That's part of life though. She sat down. That's just what it is. That's just life. Yeah, it is. It's just life. And then when she really gets tired of hearing it, she'll say, what you say about butter cups or something? Buck up, buttercup. Yeah, that's right. How encouraging that is. <laughs> Mama, you got anything else to say? No, we've talked through here, so. That's Mama's code for it. You've talked too much, hush. Mm -hmm. Folks, have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Lord mm -hmm. willing, we will see you in the morning for Sunday School Highlights. Lord willing, we will see you for Sunday lunch. And then we're going to cook something on Monday. But that's probably all we're going to do. I ain't going to overdo it this weekend. No. Going to enjoy it. I've enjoyed this rain. Turn TV off. Just sit in a quiet room and listen to the rain. It was the most the therapeutic. Was a little bad, I thought. Oh, I enjoyed boy. it. My thing with storms is high winds. When it's blowing and the, you know when it blows and your house starts creaking a little bit. <laughs> When the electrical wire starts a swaying over which way, it gets scary. And you're looking for your safe space. Uh, that's when I get nervous. But just thunder, rolling, I love it. I don't even mind a little bit of lightning if it didn't like striking. But I don't think it was much lightning today, was it? No, I didn't see any. I didn't look but we had some thunder. Thunder, thunder we had, was so bad. We had beautiful roar on the roof. I can hear it off the porch roof. I just laid there with my, I just about dozed off with joy. All right, Mom, you got anything else? No, we've done good. We've done good, and I don't have any tissues. I'm going to do these two bowls of spoons and one kettle. You're doing great on this. You did the cooking, now you're going to clean up. Ooh. Look at me. It's my lucky day. <laughs> Look at me, Mama. I know it. I'm so proud of you. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a blessed day. Yes. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening and night. Bye-bye.